All right, guys, so we're doing the fight plan of Alex Aceto against Sonny Fredrickson. I'll play Alex, my partner here will play Sonny, okay? So one thing I've noticed that uh, Sonny does is, hold on, I'm gonna switch it. Sonny will jab, but his jabs usually aren't that fast. He'll throw them out, try to keep range, but it's nothing fast. So I think Alex has a good overhand right. What I think, and a good right hand, normally, jab, Normally, I would say, once again, slip to the right, come up with the right hand. Alex can do that. But I think he should go a different route. I think he should, when Sonny jabs, I think he should slip to his left because he loves that overhand right. And that would be a perfect position to land the overhand. But not only that, Alex has another good combination that he does very well. He'll throw the three, seven. And the reason I say slip to the Left is because Sonny's 6'1", Alex is 5'11", so Alex is the shorter fighter. So when he slips that jab, he should throw that overhand right, then throw that three to step in close. Another thing is when Sonny starts getting attacked, his hand, he keeps a high guard. So throw that three, blind him, force his hands up, and then shoot that seven right away. We'll start off breaking the taller guy down with that. So we'll do it again, so he should go overhand here, Step in with that three and then immediately rip a seven right off that. Another thing I've noticed is when you pressure Sonny with punches and um, pressure, forward pressure, he folds up and he, especially when he gets on the rope, he'll stay tight. So what I think um, Alex should do is start a fast, immediately start the fight fast, a fast pace. What I'm saying is don't burn yourself out. Don't throw as fast as hard as you can. But what I'm saying is he should be here, pressure, force, uh, Sonny into the ropes so, so force him into the ropes because once he's here he just stays high his guard here he just tries to block he doesn't roll with the punches nothing he just keeps those hands up and just wait for you to stop so once again do this and then that's when I think Alex off this should shoot that overhand and then come up with that three seven right away the same combo that I said in the beginning I think he should do it again the reason for I said is the high guard so that seven to come around the elbows, catch him because literally he's got everything here protected. Use that overhand, blind him, keep the hands up. Keep that three, blind him, then immediately rip that seven right off that and then you can go back to non-stop punching. But I think that overhand three seven is Alex's key to winning this fight right here and getting back in, in the title contention and try challenge for another world title. Oh, I forgot one more thing, guys. When Sonny is on the ropes and he's throwing punches, he will not throw any punches or he'll slap with his hook. So you'll be here punching and he'll come out and try to slap you. This is why another reason why I think Alex should use that overhand because while he's here, when he sees that slap, I think he should block. And yes, he can counter with a, with a straight right hand. He has a very good straight right hand, a strong straight right hand. But I still think once he blocks, he keeps that overhand short. That's why it's right here, open. And then immediately after that overhand, you don't have to come to the head. He's gonna be blinded by that and then immediately shoot for the body. Finish off with the body attack because you don't want Sonny using his legs, being the taller guy, using the ring around. So break him down right away in the beginning by attacking that body for however long the fight lasts. I'm gonna be Sonny this time. My partner here is gonna be Alex. So. One thing I've noticed is Alex, he doesn't move his head very much. He'll stay there, especially when the jab, here's why I've noticed, when he jabs, he'll keep his head, he'll keep his head right there in the center, won't move there at all. He got in trouble against Maurice Hooker in his one title fight, in his lone loss because of that. Hooker started timing him, and this is why I think Sonny should, when he jabs, slip, come over the top with the right hand because um, Alex was dropped and stopped in that fight because of that. That's what Hooker kept be, um, beating him with, his right hands, especially when Alex jabbed. Slip, come over the top with that right hand. That's the same thing I think Sonny should do is because he's the taller fighter. At 6'1", he should let Alex come forward. When he jabs, slip, boom. Beat him every time with that straight two. Another thing I've noticed, Alex does a very good combo. He goes jab to the head, right hand to the body, finishes with a check left hook going out. I think he should use this combo a lot because as we know, so I'll show you. 
jab, right hand. As we know, Alex likes using that right hand. He's gonna try to aim down like that, especially if he's gonna use the overhand. But here's why I like that move. Because if he aims down, come up with that check hook. So he jab, right hand to body, check left hook, going out because it catches him. He, that right side is exposed. Alex has, I mean, uh, Sonny has the longer arm so he can catch him. But not only that, that check hook keeps him out of range. So I think he should use that combo. Jab, right hand to body, check hook, and then immediately either go back on his jab or just stay around because Alex has a problem sometimes using his feet. He prefers you to stay there or lay on the ropes, but if you're moving, you can throw him off just a little bit. So I, this is what I think, and also stay off the ropes. I think Sonny should stay off the ropes. But this is what I think that Alex and Sonny should do if they want to win this fight. All right, we're doing a fight plan between Josue Vargas versus Salvador Brincio. I'm gonna be Josue, partner here is gonna be Salvador. Now, Josue is the Salvador. He needs to stay, as we, I've talked about, showed you guys many times, as Salvador, need to on the outside. Keep your foot on the outside of the left foot, okay? Once we get past that, I've noticed Brincio keeps a high guard and he stands tall when he, he's there. So I think Josue should jab, or shoot the left hand to the body and then either immediately pull straight back out of range because um, Salvador will try to counter in place. So here, he'll try to stand still and counter, step out of range, Josue has the faster feet. Or if he throws that left hand, sometimes Salvador will try to jump in and with a punch. So, sorry. So he'll try to jump in. This is why I think he should throw the left hand. If he tries to jump in, counter with that right hook. He's right there. He, Salvador will only throw, when you're at distance out of range, he only throws a one or two. He likes to throw combos inside. So that's why I think Josue should keep him on the outside. Shoot that left hand. If he reaches for you, counter with that right hook. Beat him all day with that. And then immediately step back around to your right. Also, Another thing I've noticed is sometimes that um, Brancillo, he'll throw that right hand, but he'll fall in. So he'll fall forward like that. So I think Josue should take um, advantage of this. Go back. He should make sure his foot on the outside because this is why it's going to be perfect. He reaches in and throw that right hand. He should counter with the right hook. See how I'm at the angle? And then immediately shoot that left hand either to the head or to the body. So we'll do that again. So he reaches for that right hand. Make sure the foot's on the outside. Josue. He throws that, counter with the hook, and then immediately shoot that left hand right off that. Josue has a very good right hook, and that's why I think he should use that right hook a lot in this fight, because it is very strong, especially when Brincio's coming in with that right hand, that sloppy reaching right hand. You should counter him all night with that right hook. First with left hand, and then finish it with that right hook. If Josue can do that, he moves on to getting himself into title contention and making himself a top contender. Now I'm gonna play Salvador Brancillo. My partner's gonna be Josue Vargas. Josue Vargas is the southpaw. One thing I've noticed though, he has a bad habit is when he goes to the body, it could be a straight left hand, a right, left hook, it doesn't matter. He'll jump in and leave that right hand down and attack the body. So he'll do, go ahead. he'll be like that, Every time he attacks the body, he tries to get in real quick and then gets out right real quick. So I think, I've noticed one thing. I've noticed Jose Vargas has gotten hit with a lot of uppercuts. I think Brazil should time him. When he goes in like that, I think he should block. As he blocks, throw that left hook, blind Jose, immediately shoot that right uppercut right away, okay? Right before he hops out. So he goes in, throw that hook, uppercut right away. Another reason, I say that is because I also know one, one more habit that Josue does. Josue, when he goes to the body, he'll do the same thing, boom, but he takes always a hop straight back right away, right after that. I think that's where um, Brazil needs to follow him. So when he does that, counter with that hook, uppercut, he hops out, immediately he needs to follow with a one-two, catch him, okay? Because uh, Josue will just literally back up with his hands down, and then once he's in, Closing that distance with the one-two, I think Brancillo needs to work the body because Josue Vargas likes to use his leg. He likes to be flashy in and out, stepping to the side, mostly forward and back. So this is why I said Brancillo needs to counter with the uppercut hook, immediately follow with the one-two, force Josue, keep his hands back up here, rip the body, rip the body 
slow those legs down and cut the ring off. If Brunsu can do that, I think he pulls off with an upset victory and he puts himself in a better position to challenge for another top contender. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my fight breakdown, but this is what the fight, I think each fighter should do in the main event and the co-main event. As always, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. This is El Castigador. This is my friend Dan. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time, guys. See you.